the our call on. We do have the call on Wednesday and Friday. Nee, wir kommen wieder. Wir kommen wieder. We, we have the call translated on uh, Wednesday and Friday in Polish. Mm -hmm. Same time, same link. I don't uh, uh, mention the name of any company or product because we keep the call uh, neutral, but I will tell you this. I've been with the same company now for 25 years. I started by sponsoring four distributors and those four distributors has grown into over 1,400,000. And 95% of all of those people came from the original four. And so that's gonna tell you something right up front that you do not have to note the word recruit a lot of people to build a large organization. What you need to do is you need to duplicate, okay? Uh, for those who may be new and don't know what that means, it simply means that when you sponsor someone, you help them go three levels or more deep. If you don't do that, you're not going to duplicate and you'll never be able to build a large business. Uh, people who are out recruiting people to sell products will never, ever build a big business. And you're going to understand entirely why by the time I get through and exactly uh, what you should be doing. Most of you have read my book, and so napkin presentation four describes what your business should look like. It should look like the biggest building you've ever seen in your life, and that represents a huge income. But you cannot see the building, and you cannot see the income until you do the foundation first. Well, the foundation, if you're going to put up a big building, has to be deep, and that's when you duplicate. Now, give you an example of what happens. A non-sales type, note the word, will recruit a salesperson thinking they're going to get rich because they can bring in a lot of people, which they can. They, can. they can recruit 50 to 100 people in six months to a year, no problem. But you look at their genealogy at the end of the year and they have not duplicated themselves one place. They might be one level deep in a few places but that's it. But do you know what happens when you don't duplicate? People are going to start dropping off faster than you can add them. So now the person thinks there's something wrong with the company, the product, the marketing plan, their sponsor. <laughs> but someone shows them another hot program and they're off to the races on the new program. Guess what happens after a year goes by? Same thing. Didn't duplicate. People are dropping off. Now they're ready for their next program. Well, you've heard the definition of insanity before, doing the same thing over and over again, expecting a different result. So that's kind of what's happening in the industry. And if you ever run into somebody who's been in two, three, four, five different programs, all you got to do is tell them that they did not fail uh, in network marketing. <laughs> because, see, they never did network marketing. They did sales, and sales does not work. Uh, I've got to tell you a quick story about a guy by the name of Jimmy the Butcher Smith. He was a butcher cutting meat for like 42 years, had to retire from a back injury. Now note, he got into network marketing, but he didn't do network marketing. He said he loved network marketing, but he did sales. So every year for 10 years, he was in a different program, hardly made any money at all, okay? When he was 52, he came across my training and he learned that we do not recruit people to sell, but we sponsor and teach people to duplicate and build a family of consumers. By the time he was 70 years old, he was worth 35 million. And when he got to be 92, he was worth 90 million. We have the recording of an interview he did with Eric Worre and two places in the interview, he mentions my name and I'm 100% responsible for his success. Another quick testimony, a guy by the name of Jordan Adler, 11 years in the business, couldn't sponsor anybody, okay? Because he kept trying to recruit people to sell. And you're going to learn here that people just do not want to sell, okay? Uh, he found my book in a garage sale, bought it for 20 five cents. He's now a multi-millionaire. 
say 100% of the people in the world who are not in network marketing do not understand it. 80 to 90% of the people who are in it don't understand it. And you'd be amazed how many company owners don't understand it. And that's why my book now has sold over 11 million copies because when people read it, they understand it. And then we coined the phrase and said that when they understand it, now they know how to drive. And you'll understand what that means as I go here. One more quick testimony on myself. Um, for those who came in a couple minutes late, uh, you didn't hear that I started with four distributors, sponsoring four distributors, and that grew to 1.4 million. And uh, what I didn't tell you is that I am in a health company, and um, like most, I think you are, and over the period of 25 years by accident, I've actually sold one product, okay? Some people were visiting at my home. The product was on the counter in the kitchen. They saw it, asked what it was. I told them they wanted to buy it. Only thing I've ever sold in 25 years. But my volume in my organization last month was over 13 million. And we'll actually this year go over 150 million, which is more than 90% of the companies out there. And I did it by never sponsoring anybody to sell, but just sponsoring and teaching people to duplicate. And then that's, again, helping that person go three levels deep. Uh, what, hold on one second here. I want to talk about your market now. So if you think you're recruiting people to sell your products, how many people out there really interested in wanting to hear you about, talk about your products? Well, only 15% of the people in the world at any given point in time are sick, hurt, or into health. Uh, actually, that breaks down to 8% of the 15 are really into health. Anybody argue that? I say, well, measure the square footage of your health food stores in town, all your supermarkets, and now you're not going to even have 8%. So you have a small market, but now you have a lot of competition because 90% of the people in network marketing don't understand it. And they're out there trying to recruit people to sell to that same 8%. Uh, all these new companies that are starting up out there, uh, they spend millions of dollars developing a line of products. They get ready to go to market and they all make the same mistake, okay? They recruit a sales manager. Okay, that's kind of strange because we're not in sales, we're in network marketing. Uh, the person they recruit probably never sponsored a person a day in his life, never built a business in network marketing. So why did they recruit a sales manager? Well, I already told you one reason, they don't understand network marketing. The other one, they recruit the sales manager to recruit people to sell. Well, that will be the cause of the company's failure. 90% of the new companies starting up are out of business within two years. And the biggest reason why is because they never taught anybody how to duplicate. They're just trying to recruit people to sell and that does not work. Now, you've got a small market, got a lot of competition. Okay, now here's the biggest problem. 95% of the people out there want nothing to do with selling. In America, a few months ago on our news, they were talking about it, said only 4.7% of the people in America want anything to do with sales, okay? So something to think about. You've got 90% of the people in our industry looking for the 4.7% of the people that can't make it, okay? It's kind of, kind of strange. So anyway, um, talk about activity. What that means is how many people, think about right now your organization, how many people do you have in your organization and how many of those are actively building a business? Had a Zoom call a while back after the call, I asked the woman, how many people in your downline? She said 500. I said, well, that's great. How many of those are actively building a business? Got really quiet for about 10, 15 seconds. She said 10. Folks, that is typical for the industry. I think the average for the industry is about 5% active. 
activity. My personal organization is around 30% and same with the company is about 30%. And the reason for that, they had a gal, like when I first got started with it, had written a book. And in, in the book, she mentioned my name about half a dozen or so times. Virtually everybody in the company has read my book. So they have a basic understanding of network marketing. So anyway, there's only two elements to building a large business. You've got the vehicle, which is your company, product, and marketing plan. You can have the hottest vehicle in the world, but you're not gonna go anywhere if you don't know how to drive it, okay? So people will spend days, weeks, and months trying to teach someone who doesn't wanna sell how to sell, and they don't even spend one minute teaching them how to drive the vehicle, okay? Uh, my wife and I had done seminars in over 35 countries. I always started off by asking people, when you sponsor a new person in your business, uh, how much talking time, how much time does it take you before they can sponsor someone? Can you teach them enough in one or two hours? No. <laughs> how about two, three days? No. And then I say, how many of you have people been with you for like two, three, four months and they still haven't sponsored anybody? over half the people in the room would raise their hand. And I'd simply say, well, how would you like to know why they haven't sponsored anybody? The answer is quite simple. Nobody taught them something that they can do. See, it's one thing if you can do something, but you have to have something so simple that anybody can do. And that's what I'm gonna teach you very shortly here. And one of the secrets to the system we actually teach the people not to talk. Because see, the more you talk, the more people think they can't do what you're doing. And the more you talk, the more they think they don't have time to do it. And also, once I go through the system and you understand this, you're gonna be able to do in three to five years what took me 25 years to do. Another simple analogy that once you understand what I'm teaching, it's like we can hand the keys to the vehicle to the person today. They can actually start sponsoring people today. Going down the freeway, sponsoring, teaching, building their business. Now, I want you to note this. While they're building their business, they can learn all about the company product and marketing plan. People who are recruiting people to sell, they have to lift the hood or bonnet up on the vehicle take the whole engine apart, put it back together again before they even think they can talk to someone. That's why it takes them forever before the people even try, try to talk to someone. So anyway, let me show you how simple this is. We have a hat that says, own your life. And we have a pin we wear on our collar that says, own your life. Now, if you don't have the hat or you don't have the pin, I'm gonna tell you exactly what you would say. Now, first of all, let's say you're talking to a stranger. Don't start what I'm gonna teach you, this process with that person until you've made a connection with them. Find out what they want. Let them find out about you. You know, just talk to them a little bit and get to know them and so forth. Make a connection. If you don't make a connection with someone, you're wasting your time. Now, this is all I'm gonna tell you about talking to strangers, because see, once you understand what I'm gonna teach you, you don't have to. You already know so many people. When you realize that nobody has to sell, and then anybody can do the business that is so simple, you're gonna have plenty of people to talk to. So let's say that you're talking to a friend, somewhere along the way in the conversation, you simply ask them, have you ever thought about what it would be like if you could own your life? Okay, uh, and tell them it stands for having time, money, and health. And did you realize that most people don't even know one person that owns their life that has time, money, and health? Young people, millennials, if they're making 60, 100,000 100, euros a, a year, they have a little money, 
but they don't have any time because of their jobs or commute things they have to do. And their health's okay. Older people, they have a lot of time, but they're running out of money and their health's going bad. So it's a simple question. How would you like to be able to own your life at a time in your life when you could enjoy it with your friends and your family? What can they possibly say? Two possibilities. They can say, Don, I just want to keep my stupid, dead-end, boring job and work the rest of my life and end up broke. Or most people say, that sounds interesting. Can you tell me more? Okay. Um, bottom line, if you can learn that presentation, which took one minute, anybody can learn a one minute presentation. Like Adriana said, you know, if you want, you can get right to her and get a recording here and just play that back and forth two times, three times. If they just can't learn it, just have them write it down on a three by five card, let the person read it. But basically, you know, that's the first step in the presentation. So uh, the system only has three simple steps. The second step, if they want to own their life, you simply say, what I'm going to do uh, for you to own your life, you need to understand network marketing. And to understand it, I'm going to send you the first five chapters of the best-selling book in the world on network marketing, and you'll understand it and start to learn how to drive. How do you want me to send it to you? Do you want me to send it to you by print or audio? See, folks, I only just said two sentences in that second, second step, and they're ready to tell you how they want to receive it. Now, you can send it to them both in print and audio, and why is audio important? Well, people are getting to the point where they say they don't have time to read. Well, see, you can take your mobile device with you in the vehicle, and if you go to any town in the world and look at the traffic, the commuter traffic, 90% of the vehicles only have one person in them that probably hates their commute, probably hates their job, they're gonna be stuck there for the rest of their life, okay? Well, people can change their whole life by listening to the five chapters while they're on their boring commute, while you're fixing dinner, uh, while you're walking the dog, exercising, all kinds of ways people can change their life simply by listening to the five chapters while they're doing something else. Okay, now, one thing that is kind of exciting about this is that when you send them the book and so forth, you know, they're gonna understand what they're doing. If you think about how people did the business before we had the app system technology, they would go and buy the book. I want you to think about how much that costs because it's not just buying the book that's a part of the cost. Because unless the post office is next door to where you live, you have to go to the post office. Now, I don't know what it is where you guys live, but in California, we're getting up to seven, eight dollars a gallon for gas. So you got to add the cost of that. Then your time has value. How much time did it take you to go to the post office and back, stand in line at the post office, buy the postage stamps, you gotta add that to the cost. Then you gotta wait five days for them to receive it, okay? So what happens is after five days, you call them up, say, have you received the book? They say they did. Have you read the book? They say they did. <laughs> You'll be amazed how many people will lie to you. They didn't read the book. It's called cooling off, okay? Because from the time you talk to them to the time they received it, they've already lost interest, okay? It cannot happen now with the app because see, while you're talking to them on your mobile device, you can send them the five ch chapters. So when you hang up, they already have it. They can start reading it right then. Now you're gonna love this. When they start to read it, you get a ping on your mobile device letting you know they started to read it. If they hang up before they finish the five chapters, you get another ping saying they partially read it. And when they finish reading it, you get another ping saying they finished reading it. 
So how cool is that to be able to call them, say, 20 minutes after they finish reading it? You don't have to ask them if they read it because you already know they did. And you already know they're interested because they wouldn't have finished reading it if they weren't interested. So that's, that's kind of exciting. Now, here's the best part, the cost, okay? Because what it would cost you to send, or well, less than what it would cost you to send out one book, you can send out unlimited first five chapters by print or audio or both. Now, when I say unlimited, 10 a week, 50 a month, 100 a month, it doesn't matter, it's unlimited. It's all included in the cost, which is only $20 a month. And of course, that's a write-off for you anyway, it's a business expense. So that's how, how that works. Now, once they have read the book, now I want you to know that it was their time to read the book. It's just your time to introduce the concept to them, which took maybe two to four minutes. Okay, once they've read the book, they're ready to go to step three, and that's the app. And that you'll see my partner, uh, Jeff Romaldi, he does, he links his phone to the computer, shares the screen, and demonstrates how you actually send the five chapters out. Now it's a learning curve. Once you've done it two, maybe three times, you're going to be able to send a book to anywhere in the world. And the cost of doing it is all included in that $20. And you can send it anywhere. Compare that to the time of just driving to the post office and back. You only took 20 seconds. Okay, now once they've gone through everything on the app, now they're ready to go to your vehicle see your company product and marketing plan. Now, if at any point they say, well, hey, Don, what are you selling? What's your company? If you tell them, they're gonna to go to Google, see all your products and so forth. They're gonna think that you're trying to recruit them to sell something or sell to them and so forth. You lost them, okay? If someone asks me that question, I simply say, look, at if I were selling anything, it would be an opportunity for you to own your life. Now, folks, I don't know how much time you've been spending before you can get a new person to start selling your products, but the, doing it the way I'm teaching you, you can do it in four to 10 minutes, okay? Think about that, four to 10 minutes. Now, when you actually get the app, there's other things you get with the app besides just being able to send out the first five chapters. We are updating my book. Hasn't been updated in 36 years. Lots of things in there now that are antiquated because of technology and so forth. So you're gonna get the new updated book in your language, of course, and print and audio. Now you cannot send out the entire book. You can only send out the first five chapters, but you'll have that you know, for yourself. There's a section in there called questions and answers. Right now there's 25, we're gonna be adding more. So if you ever have a question that's not on the app, submit it to us and we'll get it taken care of, answered, be part of the app. Now let's say that you sponsor someone and that person sponsors someone who asks your person a question. Well, your person's new, they don't have the answer. You're out of town or you're, how long does it take them to track you down to get the answer to the question? See, now all they have to do is go to their mobile device, find it, and it has tracking on it, just like the book does, because you can tell when they start reading it and when they finish reading the answer. So we're excited about, about that. We have a section called Nancy's Wisdom. Now, my wife, Nancy, she passed away uh, about over a year ago. But six months before she passed away, she did a Zoom training that the women love, the men like it too. And it's on that section called Nancy's Wisdom, plus uh, some interviews that had, she had done. And we have more content that'll be going in that section. We have three of the kind of the most popular podcasters uh, in, in the country, uh, Tom Chanel, Simon Chen, and Peter Mingles that interviewed us and that is on the app. In fact, uh, Tom Chanel, after he 
did the podcast that went out to 500 radio stations. We have other podcasters that now want to do interviews and we're not doing any more interviews until they have the app, uh, the new app completed. Now, so you understand this, uh, we have a company a year ago that made our, our initial app. Uh, they only have six employees, but couldn't keep up with us. Would it take years to get the app done in the different languages? So we got an, another company now that has 370 employees, uh, they're in 20 different countries, and they have a whole team of people working on the app. And there's five steps to making the app. We've already paid for the first four, and that'll be about another week, 10 days they'll be finished with step four. And then they'll go on to step five. When that's finished, we'll have the new upgraded app in English. Now that becomes the base. And once we have that completed, that company will be able to add a new language every three weeks. So our goal is to eventually have the app in all the major languages, but the first one it's gonna do will be um, Polish, uh, followed by German, Italian, and Romanian. We already have people working on Chinese, Japanese, and we almost have the app completed in Spanish and uh, uh, in Vietnam, that's you're correct, in Vietnam. So anyway, we're excited about that. So. If you wanna use the app the way we have it now, um, first of all, you can only send out four chapters, not five. The reason we went to five in the new app, because the fifth chapter is the fourth napkin presentation that talks about putting up the billing and doing the foundation. Also on the new app, we have a Dr. Steve Heinz, who has been a guest speaker on some of our Zoom trainings. Uh, he's a retired eye surgeon, multimillionaire, been in network marketing now for about 30 years, has the fastest growing organization with his company using our training. And let me tell you, if you have a doctor, dentist, lawyer, professional person, listen to this guy for three to four minutes, they're going to want to join your business. So we're really, really excited about that. Probably the only thing that we don't have on, on the original app, which we're gonna start putting on the new app is a section called testimonies. People who've been working the business, literally some for years, not going anywhere because they just keep losing people faster than they can add them, uh, can put their testimonies on the app. And the only thing we, it's gonna be done by Zoom and there, there'll be two to three minutes. They cannot mention the name of the company or product. But they are forewarned if they do that, uh, they're gonna be known or seen virtually all over the world. So if you don't want that, then don't do it. So anyway, um, let me think here if there's something else I'm forgetting on the new app. Adriana, did I forget anything on the new app? I think not. Maybe the testimonies are the most uh, important part because I saw one of uh, that testimonies and they are really great because people uh, really would like to share with, with their experiences uh, about owning your life. So you can also uh, send Don uh, something like that and uh, be a part of that app, yes, in the future. Sounds good, hey, thank you. Now, I said I would uh, show you how you could do in three to five years what took me 25. It all has to do with one word, and the word is time, okay? I'll give you a couple examples here. Okay, first of all, the industry has gone through three major phases. First one, back 50 years ago, people, they invited people to a weekly hotel meeting, and of course, would hope they'd show up, okay? That kind of evolved to doing sizzle sessions in restaurants, and of course that evolved, of course, in California, uh, we just had over a year where all the restaurants were closed, but didn't bother us at all because we weren't doing that anyway because we'd already evolved to new step and that's using Zoom and technology. Okay, so let's look at a sizzle session like in the past. People would invite three to 12 people or so to a sizzle session. 
They would come from three to 12 different directions, driving 15 minutes to an hour to get there. Spent an hour and a half roughly at the sizzle session. Some people would get home like at 10, 11 o'clock at night. Now, if the spouse was home taking care of the children and you did that more than once a week, you were gonna have problems with your spouse, okay? See, now we don't do that anymore. We do them on Zoom. I do anywhere from one to four or five sizzle sessions a day. My partner does more than that. Can you imagine if everybody in your downline was only doing one Zoom sizzle training session a day compared to one a week? Now, you think, well, these people, how are they gonna do it? They don't know how to do this training. They get the recording. All you have to do is share your screen, and put the recording up and let us do the talking. See, when you get the app, it's like you have myself, you have Jeff Rimaldi, my partner, and you have um, uh, Adriana for Polish. We're gonna have this done in the different languages and so forth and Dr. Steve Hines. We're all working for you. All you gotta do is use us and put us to work for you. Okay, now, can you imagine how much faster you're going to grow? Now, remember the book was written over 36 years ago and it stopped at once you had sponsored five people that are active and you're building downline, duplicating, you didn't have time for to work with any, any new people. I mean, you're just too busy. But see, now you do. So once you have your five people that are active, get one more and help them go three levels deep. Then once they get going, you get another one and so forth. And once you get to 10, then you got 10 active people. You can go the rest of your life and never sponsor another person. See, a salesperson can't do that. They're always always looking for that. Who are they going to recruit next? Because people keep dropping off. But when you have 10 active people and you're helping them with their people, et cetera, et cetera, and so forth, you can write this down, You know, do this after the call here. Just take out a piece of paper and put down at the top right-hand side, put you help five people get five, it's 25, goes to 125, 625, 3,125, 15,625, 78,125. Easy to do, it's just multiplying, going down by five. Now next to, to it, put down 10 next to the five. And between it, put down the difference, which is five, okay? But watch what happens when the 10 get 10. Now you got 100 next to 25, the difference is 75. Well, when a, the 100 get 10, that's 1,000 next to 125. Now the difference is 875. Do that out six, six levels deep. You'll find you'll learn it a lot better if you do it yourself and actually see it. You do that, and let me tell you, you will be able to do in three to five years what took me 25 years to do. Okay, now, you know, we're doing good on time, Adriana, so we might as well get, see, we normally stop the um, first section